Hi everybody, welcome to Desilicious Kitchen. And today we are going to make onion pakoras. Uh, pakoras are really popular all over India as they are really tasty and very quick to make. Unexpected guests, what better than pakoras? The guests are not going to complain, they are going to love it. And on a rainy day, pakoras along with chai is the best combination. Yes, I remember this song. <laughs> Yeah, and we can make pakoras with any other vegetable too, but we have chosen to make them with onions today. So, now let's have a look at the ingredients and how to make this pakoras. Hope you like the recipe. Three hundred grams, that is four onions. Three, that is two grams of green chilies. 3 4 teaspoon red chilli powder 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder 3 4 teaspoon ajwain or carom seeds salt to taste a small pinch of baking soda 2 tablespoons or 20 grams of cashew nuts 3 tablespoons coriander leaves 1 and a half tablespoons of mint leaves 1 tablespoon freshly squeezed lime juice 1 inch piece ginger 1 4 teaspoon garam masala powder 300 grams or 3 cups of besan or chickpea flour 3 tablespoons of rice flour 2 tablespoon kasuri methi or dry fenugreek leaves half tablespoon coriander powder and oil to deep fry so let's begin by chopping the onions. So just slit them into two halves first. Discard the top and bottom portions of the onion. Remove the skin. And slice them thinly into rings as opposed to finely chopping them. So something like this. And now in a mixing bowl add besan and rice flour and the coriander powder turmeric powder, red chilli powder, garam masala powder, basically all the dry spices followed by the kasuri methi and whole cashew nuts. You can go ahead and chop them if you like and ajwain or carom seeds. Now we are going to finely chop the green chilli. So we are using multi blade scissors for it. You can go ahead and use a knife but uh, these scissors are really convenient to chop finely. And also thinly slice a ginger piece and add the ginger and green chilies into the besan mixture followed by the thinly sliced onions, coriander leaves, mint leaves, again we are finely chopping them, pinch of baking soda, Salt to taste, we've added 1 tablespoon and 1 tablespoon lime juice. Now we're going to knead it into a loose dough by adding water little by little. So initially we just added very little water and combined the uh, mixture and then we added the rest of the water and uh, we've kneaded it into a dough which is neither too thick nor too thin. We've used, it, uh, we've used 1 cup of water. Now we're going to heat a pan and add sufficient oil to deep fry so once the oil is nice and hot we are going to take a small ladle of this oil and add it into the batter we just prepared so this actually makes the pakodas very crisp so it's a foolproof method to have nice and crunchy pakodas and now once the oil is hot we are going to drop in small portions of the pakoda batter into the hot oil so how many pakoras you wish to fry at a time really depends on the size of your pan. So approximately 5 to 6 pakoras at a time would be ideal. So while dropping the pakoras, we kept the flame on high. But uh, then we reduced the flame to medium to cook the pakoras further. And uh, once they are cooked on one side, we are going to flip them over and cook them on the other side as well. Till they are golden brown on both the sides. 
they look really good and now the pakodas are entirely golden in color so we are going to transfer it to a colander to absorb excess oil so yummy crunchy pakodas are all ready you can serve it with any chutneys or sauces of your choice today we are going to serve it with date chutney hope you like this video and if you did do not forget to like comment and subscribe do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications thank you